Okay, this is number nine on the chapter four review packet. Um, we're gonna use a tree diagram to help us figure this one out. A local movie center rents out 35% action movies, 20% comedies, and 45% kids movies. So we've got three options at this movie store. Um, action movies, comedy, or kids movies. And if you randomly um, picked a movie that was rented out, 35% of them are action, so there'd be a 0.35 chance that it would be an action movie. If you randomly picked a movie that was rented out, there'd be a 20% chance it's comedy because 20% of the movies rented out are comedy. And the percent of kids' movies rented out is 0.45. So you put your probabilities on the next to the lines. Next. 3% of the action films are defective. So you have these action films, uh, you know, sometimes you get a movie home and there's something wrong with it, it, it stalls or it doesn't work or there's a scratch on it or something, it's somehow defective. There's a 3% chance that that action movie is going to be defective, which means there's a 0.97, if you do 1 minus 0.03, you get a 0.97% that's not defective. With the comedy movies, there's a 5% <coughs> chance it's defective. 0 0.05 on that line, which means there's a 0.95 chance not defective. Any questions so far? And the kids' movies, of course, kids, like my kids, stick their own movie in sometimes, and they, you know, they might have jelly on their hand or whatever, and they grab the disc or whatever, and so the kids' movies are going to have more defective ones probably, just because they probably get a little rougher treatment. 10% of the kids' movies are defective. So if you randomly pick a kids' movie, there's a 10% chance 0.10 chance it's going to be defective. Subtract that from one, there's a 0.90 chance it's not going to be effective. Now, if a person randomly selects a movie, what is the probability it will be defective? So it doesn't say what type of movie, but let's figure out the probability that it's going to be a def an action movie that's defective. Well, what would I do with these two numbers if I want to find the probability of being action and defective? Multiply. Yep, so you take 0.35 times 0.03. And that gives you 0 0.0105, I think. Does that sound right? Okay. Now let's look at the, com the defective comedy ones. Well, I want to find the probability of being a defective comedy movie. So comedy and defective. Well, there's a 20% chance it's comedy and a 0 0.05 or 5% chance that it's defective if it's comedy. So take 0.20 times 0 0.05 and you get 0 0.01. So one out of 100 chance that you're going to, if you randomly pick a movie, you're going to get a defective comedy movie. Third thing that could happen is you could get a defective kids movie. It's going to be a kid's movie and defective. So to figure out that probability, take, we want it to be a kid's movie and be defective. So and means multiply. So 0 0.45 times 0 0.10 comes out to 0 0.045. So you've got three probabilities. The first one I have circled is the probability that you're going to get a defective action movie. The second one is probability of a defective comedy. Third one's defective kids. But it doesn't ask for those three. It says, what's the probability of getting a defective movie? So it could be, could be action, comedy, or kids. So when you hear or, what are you supposed to do with those numbers? Add, add them together. So if you add those together, that'll give you your final answer. Okay, so add, add these two. What's that come out to? 0.065. 0 0.065. And, and I don't care if you write, use, you can write that as a fraction. You can change it to 6.55%. Any of those answers are fine with me. Okay. 